Okay. Um, good morning, Mr. Shukri. I am from morning. Saito University College doing Master in Law of Enforcement. Uh -huh. Today I want to present about my assessment about the risk management in policy, loss prevention management. Right? May okay. I know your name? My name is Awam Wazeuddin. I'm working for this company around three years. And then now I'm doing my master. And now the position is digital marketing executive. Okay. Right? And you can introduce yourself. Oh, okay. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mohammad Sukri Abdul. Okay. Yeah, I'm the training manager okay. of uh, the center, Safety Driving Center. Mm -hmm. uh, a driving institute mm -hmm. certified by GPJ, located in PJ Slango. I've been here for the past 13 years. All right. And then, uh, my background is in uh, management, and I'm also now pursuing my master mm -hmm. in management, right? Okay. And uh, most importantly here, as the training manager, I have a driving license in the uh, big bike, okay. a car, and lorry. Lorry also. Uh, yes, I'm also the lecturer oh. for the theory part. Theory part. That is something about me. All right. Okay. Let us start first. Um, for this time, I want to introduce you. Why this company should be hiring the manage uh, risk management manager? We cost is effective. Why? Because the risk manager can help to prepare the prevention to our instructor, and then they can now. What will happen in the future? There are already risk assessment and then they can prepare to our company to cut cost everything we don't need. Okay, for the example, the timing, the leaking of preparation, the student cost and each other. Right? And secondly is how a risk manager can help to prepare the business. Okay? Risk management actually, there is assessment, everything the part in our company. Like you see the the slide, the identify the finance is main cost every single business. If the main cost out of the budget, maybe the overtime will be happen in the company. Sometimes the company will over cost. That means if the company is over cost, the produce and the service will be leaky. Right? And then the last part is five step to risk management tool is effective. One is brainstorm the risk. If you have the something problem, the what's it called? The company or the team will brainstorm and find the solution. And then, second one is SWOT analysis. The SWOT analysis is short form for strength, weakness, opportunity, and trade. This kind of risk. And then, um, risk quality and data assessment. The risk is prepare the schedule of checklist must check and understanding what kind of of the risk the company will face and then the third is probability and implement metric there is, is the schedule of like metrics and charter we can um, arrange or manage or see the the medium low and high risk we can detect and finally is risk assessment template that means if already have the template the next generation will see the template and do this assessment that is um, we can know what effective you can do this all right all right um, that's part for me and now i want to ask for you a few questions Alright, first about the instructor. 
and the second is about uh, student and third is the management right we will start from the instructor what the risk maybe they face every single time like the rain or student or condition of the car you can explain a little bit the risk are uh, kind of risk that would be faced by instructors are many all right uh, uh, number one of course when they are going on the road uh, with the student so uh, the students are all new they are not so good with their control of the vehicle eh? so uh, accident might happen eh? accident might happen eh? accident, yeah. accident road crashes might happen so in this uh, center in the circuit mm -hmm. and also when they are driving on the road mm -hmm. right so number one issue is definitely the risk of uh, road crashes collision mm -hmm. huh? the road condition like that yeah, uh, right okay then the uh, probably for the instructors the uh, health issue uh, the risk, health, uh, yeah, no, the, risk the hazard of, like that uh, the health issue uh, okay uh, because they will be needed to be seated for long hours mm -hmm. in the vehicle uh, over time uh, okay. so working long hours mm -hmm. uh, 12 to 14 hours a day uh, mm. probably uh, so this all will be uh, affecting their health very badly oh. right uh, they might have uh, back problems uh, and uh, hydration dehydration then the health issue. Health issue. Health okay. issue is the risk. Huh? Yeah. So that is for the uh, structure, structure, right? Yeah. Uh, then the other risk that they might be facing is the stress. Oh, right? stress. Uh, the stress and the fatigue. Huh? Fatigue. Uh, stress and the fatigue of uh, uh, long uh, teaching uh, time. Uh, long teaching time uh, so uh, these are the major uh, risk factors for okay. the instructors right okay okay and about the administration all the stuff like the curriculum oh for the staff the administration staff uh, the risk in the office are there all right so the risk in the office for example uh, too many staff and they will be clamping, you know, clamping, yeah, clamping. in a zone. Uh, and then the, probably <coughs> uh, the same thing, the risk factor, maybe uh, the, the, floor, the uh, floor, the floor within this uh, center or the workplace uh, condition. Uh, the workplace condition uh, a slippery sleeping uh, so they might sleep off uh, mm -hmm. uh, they might fall all right mm -hmm. uh, sharp <coughs> objects are everywhere mm -hmm. uh, so these sharp objects uh, sometimes the surface of the floor uh, as are not even, not even uh, uh, so okay. uh, the risk of fallings falling uh, right. the risk of falling right uh. and then um, uh, when you are in the working in a building eh? mm -hmm. uh, sometimes the uh, electric wiring well, electric, also, wiring, uh, electric okay. wiring as of course you know uh, old buildings eh? you have this old wiring uh, and eh? maybe they do some uh, this uh, electrical connection, connection. Eh? Uh, so these are all uh, not allowed eh? uh, 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 not uh, allowed electrical mm -hmm. connection eh? Sometimes the usage of the power point mm. of electric yeah. uh, when they are charging their phone. Mm. Uh, so what happened? Uh, they charge and then they will go and do something else. Mm. So what happened if the thing is overcharged mm -hmm. uh, and the thing might explode? Oh, explode. Okay. So if the thing explodes uh, mm -hmm. and the cause of fire, mm -hmm. right? So it will cause fire in the building. Mm -hmm. So this is another reason for the staff. Yeah. And, uh, working in the in the office yeah. right uh, and then the, student? Uh, the arrangement of things uh -huh. items in the office okay sometimes uh, uh, when they are placing the furniture mm -hmm. uh, 
or uh, any uh, cable, phone cable. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if the thing is not properly laid out, mm-hmm. and then the uh, might tangle, you know? tangle, uh, tangle. So again, they fall, you know, and then uh, sustain injury, injury, yeah, uh, oh. physical injury. So this is another issue area you should look at. Oh yeah. Uh, Sometimes the staff will come to workplace. Mm. They are facing the hazard every day. Every day. Yeah. Mm. Because have the case, the, our staff involve the accident. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's the emergency. Okay. Mm. The third uh, uh, risk for the staff, huh? mm-hmm. because they are dealing with public. Oh yeah, dealing right? with public. So, yeah. so as they dealing with the public, mm-hmm. uh, two or three area. Uh, that uh, they might be facing uh, when they are dealing with public. Mm-hmm. Number one, uh, some, uh, maybe uh, the customer uh, not happy, they might turn violence. Violence. Yeah? Uh, violence. So, uh, violence is another risk for the staff. Okay. Right? Then, number two is dealing with the, uh, what we call public. Uh, Violent is another area. Maybe um, harassment. 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 Eh? harassment eh? Uh, that's all. When we are dealing with the public. Okay. Eh? And when public comes, the, the risks are there, of course, the the health risk. The health, health risk. risk eh? As yeah. you know, we are now in this pandemic, COVID-19. Yeah. So, when the... Uh, the, the, the Customers walk in eh? mm-hmm. and they are not following the SOP. Mm-hmm. For example, not wearing the face mask properly, mm-hmm. right? Then they might spread this COVID-19 yeah. virus to the staff, mm-hmm. right? So uh, these are the health risks. Health risks. Uh, huh? Health risks that ma- they might face. Okay. Right? And that is for the staff. Okay, for the staff. And student, how about the student? staff? Eh? Mm-hmm. This health risk factor also, spreading of these uh, viruses around, mm-hmm. might affect the driving instructors as oh, well. As well, eh? yeah. as well. Because customers, our students, mm-hmm. you know, will be going here and there. They will deal with our front desk, mm-hmm. and they will deal with our uh, instructors. Eh? Mm-hmm. So even the other uh, support staff, Oh yeah. Uh, any support and staff in the center mm-hmm. might be dealing with them. Yes. Uh, yeah. So you see, the risk of a uh, health uh, risk are there, oh, right? Okay. Uh, for everybody. <coughs> right. So the next one, the third one, will go to the. Uh, who's the next one? The, the students. Student. The student. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. The risk that the students are facing, mm. of course. Uh, First time uh, to control, uh, control the, the, the risk of uh, accident, uh, road crashes, that's number one. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, for that, the higher uh, one. The highest, the number one. Uh, and right? the probability is very, uh, very high. Uh, yeah. The probability of uh, accident is very high for the uh, new student. Mm-hmm. Uh, right? Uh, that is number one. And number two, I think, uh, when they walk in this center, uh, mm-hmm. they have physical injury mm-hmm. to other area. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Uh, the cafeteria, uh, if there is any uh, spillage of water, uh, they might sleep, right? Uh, if they walk into the lecture room, uh, uh, if the lecture room is not properly maintained, um, uh, so they get this all this injury also, mm-hmm. right? And uh, uh, that is for the student, and of course, finally, the risk of the, uh, the health risk. Health uh, risk. Uh, once they are here, then the, they might get infected by other students or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this uh, three area of health concern, health uh, concern. concern for the for the student. Uh, okay. right, for the student. All I right. think we have covered all the three areas. Yeah, uh, the three areas. Uh, that is in my opinion mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. kind of uh, risk. All right. uh, that the student, the staff and the instructors. Huh? And uh, you summarize? The, my summary is the uh, risks are always there. Yeah, risks there. are always there yeah. uh, and it involves everybody. Mm-hmm. So as a responsible driving center, yeah. as a responsible instructor, staff and the student, mm-hmm. uh, we must 
try to eliminate risk. Eliminate risk. We minimize the risk. Yeah. Uh, we minimize, we control. Okay. Uh, we control as, as well as we reduce uh, mm -hmm. any problem we detect early and we can do prevention. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the summary. Okay. Thank huh? you, Chair. Mr. Uh? Shukri. Well, yeah, well, there is well, very yeah. lot of thing and lot of uh, content. Thank you so much. Welcome. And I see you uh, uh, next time yeah, in the future. Yeah, I hope this can help for my task. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Welcome.